Hi folks, and welcome to my thoughts on a comic. And today's comic is Young Blood Genesis Issue 1 by Arcada Comics, or Arcade Comics. Alright, let's start where we usually do. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, it's gray here. Alright, so uh, these are the people responsible for all the whatever is written. So now I don't have to write it down below. Here you go. Read it here. Alright, let's start. So, uh, our plot is, um, well, quite another one with the government. I think if I read more government comics, I'll start wearing a tinfoil hat. I mean, it's not exactly the same as uh, Project, uh, not Project X. Uh, like the comic with Wild Child, but it also has government shit. Okay, so we start with the government. There is uh, Mr. Gra uh, Graves. Mr. Graves. Uh, I think that's how that's how you pronounce it. Mr. Graves, he works in the, in the government, the White House, and all that shit. And it seems like he wants to, he wants to continue having this uh, space program. He wants to, um, seems like, you know, move humanity ahead, you know, to a new level kind of thing. So, that's what he wants to do. In the beginning, a spaceship or an aircraft that's extraterrestrial lands in Earth. Of course, everyone's trying to deny what it is, not let the public know all that jazz. So then uh, we move on to Mr. Greaves arriving, and they apparently find inside two aliens. Okay, excellent. We move forward. We hear, along the comic, we hear Mr. Uh, Greaves, Graves' thoughts, uh, all the things he wants to improve. Also, a uh, videotape has been leaked out by someone that uh, shows their the program Mr. Greaves it was in charge of is very bad because they murdered a drug cartel, something like that. Every the people that work with Mr. Graves are panicking. Mr. Graves is like he 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 is cool as a cucumber. He doesn't give a shit. All he cares about is achieving his goal. That's the only thing. He needs to keep his program so he can elevate humanity or what not. You have to appreciate that about a man. Really, do you do? So anyway, we continue to talk government bullshit. We see some young promising agent from the FBI. Then we we continue. Mr. Graves is talking to the alien. He wants to know stuff from him. All sorts of uh, secrets. When will the world end? That was lovely. Uh... The alien has apparently learned their language in in, in two days. Yeah, it's not completely fluent, but yeah, he already knows English. The other person that's with him there, his prisoner or whatever, hasn't yet. Anyway, they're inside the laboratory. Mr. Graves has to deal with, uh, you know, not having himself fired. And his program shut down, but again, he doesn't seem to give that much of a fuck. So then we continue, there's a, he meets, a, he's in charge of um, Night Strike, that's the project thingy, and he, he meets two of the people that were in it, to, they're like worried, you need to do something, we're shown as assholes, and he's like, he, he doesn't acknowledge that, he just, good day gentlemen, moves on, you gotta love that, next we have a, Press conference, the president answering questions. Another dick in a, in a suit approaches Mr. Greaves and, you know, I'm next in line for your job. Blah, 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 being a dick. Moving on, Mr. Greaves goes to talk to his associate, Mr. Knives, I think. I'm not sure how you pronounce his last name. He's like, what am I going to do? My wife wants a new car. My kid wants to go to college. Mr. Graves is still, Graves, sorry, Mr. Graves is still, don't worry. And then uh, the next day, the president calls them. He just got unlimited funds for his, um, 
for his program, you know, the, scratch your old program, Night Strike dies, start a new one. And he's like, yes, yes, sir. Yes, Mr. President. Yes, sir. Anyways, like, you and I got raises, and you know, we have unlimited resources. Hooray! Okay, we move on. Um, Mr. The Knives, I think that's how we call him, calls the, the dick before that uh, talk to Mr. Graves and tells him, I don't care. I want whatever it was he wanted tomorrow. I don't know. They're just, you know, being dicks back to him now. That's how it works. So anyway, now, um, in order to, um, you know, smooth everything or move this forward, Mr. Graves uh, created a team. Like a team of superheroes to give the, the people someone to root for. You know, someone to root for so they will, you know, so this whole thing will continue. And before that, there was a superhuman terrorist group. I don't know. I'm still confused. And anyway, now they created that together with the aliens, the two aliens they have, the three, uh, the two assassins, two assassins, one scientist that apparently worked for Mr. Graves and didn't want to give up his invention, so only he can use it, and, um, oh, and an icon, I don't know, they pulled someone out of something and now he's gonna be there too. And so, uh, Mr. Graves is happy. Yay, my plan worked. He's wa he's walking outside, you know, to go home, and he meets the, the cleaning man. You know, and his, in his thoughts, we hear, like, I need a name for this group. And then someone is talking music on the radio, and then they say, and next we have the Young Bloods. And then, like, Mr. Graves is like, I got a name. The end. And, um... I don't know, actually. I mean, I read through this entire thing, and I was still like, what did I just go through? I mean, don't get me wrong, it, it was interesting, but I don't know. I don't particularly feel anything. It was, though, interesting to follow Mr. Graves, but... You know, to say this was fascinating, I don't know. It wasn't bad. Um, Alright, I'll start showing the art now. I mean, the alien looked pretty cool. He also had pointy ears. So this is the beginning where you see a bunch of people and stuff. That's the um, that's the alien there. Bunch of other... I still don't know who the hell the rest of these are. I mean, there's one guy sitting like Nightcrawler washing dishes. I don't know. Anyway, we continue on. Let's get to the alien. Shall we? Alright, so anyway, there's the landing. Um, I didn't die too much for the art in here, to be honest. It was okay. Not, not one of my favorites by a long shot. There's the uh, where the airship aircraft exploded. We got, we got scientists, soldiers, all the hoopla that you see in movies. There's Mr. Graves over there, and Here's all the people, uh, news reporters, that's his team there. Actually, from this guy, he gets the idea for the team because um, he has some things for his ne uh, nieces and nephew. nephews. There's the team. Uh, this is who they murdered, all that. Lovely. All right, next we move on. This is that promising agent. He's just graduating, there's Mr. Grease, and that's his partner. Alright, there's the White House, um, that's his secretary. As you can see, he's deep in thought. So there, there's his office, he's reading stuff, you know, this isn't trying to figure shit out. That's the two alien dudes. See pointy ears. They're following me, I'm telling you. They're following me. Maybe it's a sign I need to read more elves. There's the two assassin dudes. I don't know what's with his face, to be honest. Uh, is that like a mask? I don't know. Maybe he needed a... You know, someone burned his face off. Ah, uh, there's the dick in the suit. 
There's the, uh, the guy, his partner, Mr. Knives, whatever. There's a terrorist group, the reporter. Yeah, yeah, say this reporter must be retarded. I mean, behind her, super mutants are fighting, and she's like, Hi! Are you retarded? Get out of there! Is it really worth you dying for a news story? Well, probably for her, but... Eh. You know what they say, no brains, no worry. There, he's yelling at the dick. There, he's all happy. That's the team. I gotta say, though, this is a really cool image. Regardless of me not liking the art, this is still a pretty cool image. Alright, and then we... Then we go here. That's the cleaning man, Daniel. And this is where he hears of the name Young Bloods and... There, that's it. He has a name. See you next week, Mr. Graves. Hooray, and there's more young blood. I wonder, though, if it's all issues one, is there, like, any difference? Anyway, that's about it. That's, uh, the, the thing with this one. I don't know, it wasn't bad. Not, not one of my favorite comics, but, yeah, definitely a nice one. I guess. Yeah, I guess a nice read. Again, didn't, didn't really die for that art, but it was okay. It was, it was a bit rough looking in a lot of sections, which I'm not a huge fan of. But, you know, hey, someone probably could, you know, really like that. Alright, folks, so that is it. Uh, let me know if you read any Youngblood. I think I've heard people talking about it, though I'm not sure, so... Let me know what you thought of it, and that is it. Till next time, bye!